Hey y'all, welcome to Church's Intake. So let's get into the word. So we're gonna be in Malachi 3 or 4. We're gonna be in Malachi 4, uh, the coming day of the Lord. Now, the coming day of the Lord, you should hear what I say in this passage because he's basically coming to judge the wicked. Yeah, and cut them off. So that's why there's a lot of people out here that's like, yo, they're sign and search seekers. You know what I mean? They try to seek signs. And actually, anyone that's trying to seek the signs of the end times, they're wicked people because they're trying to figure out when God is going to do his his uh, miracles and wonders. And, you know, these are thieves. You know what I'm saying? Like they search just like the, the Pharisees and the Sadducees. They search for signs and and wonder is because they want to try to take what is God's and what is for God's people. So the people that's always trying to be like, oh yeah, the signs of the times, it means it's just the end. Actually, the Bible, when John wrote the, the books in the end, in the Revelation, he was told to close the book. Why do you think he was told to close the book? Because if he told everything that's in the book, People would just search for those type of things and think that that's, this is the end. But it also says this is the beginning of the end. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people think, you know, Revelation is like, you know, when they start seeing these things, like this is the end times, but it's only the end times for the wicked, not for the children of Christ. The children of Christ is going to be here until God takes them up. And we're going to be in here in these these perilous times when these wicked ones are going down so you're going to see a lot of wicked people falling and god's children is going to be here to comfort those that need understanding for when this is to occur and a lot of people you know what i mean there's a lot of people that you think is righteous and they're actually not they're actually wicked ones and they just got masks on and god is actually uncovering these people as we speak today that's why I said, you know, when I say, uh, you know, God separates you from the people that you don't need to be with. These could be your family members. These could be your your relatives and your, your so-called friends and your friend group that they think that they have a connection with you. But when God separates you and then you tell them like, yo, we ain't got we ain't got that same type of connection. And they'd be like, oh, you changed or whatever. You did change. You changed from being from their wicked group. And you separated yourself to having God judge you separate from them or your family lineage or what they do in your family that they don't tell you certain secrets. Like everybody's got secrets in their family and their family tends not to try to tell them things. And um, the wicked's getting judged as we speak daily by daily. You know what I mean? They, they, they be lying. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of these people be lying, covering it up. And, and all you got to do is if you had spiritual discernment you can actually see these things and everybody don't have discernment like a lot of people lie about their discernment a lot of people lie about that they have uh relationships with with god and they definitely don't you can tell that they don't have a true relationship with christ because if they did you could you would you could tell you know what i mean their heart posture you could tell like the spirit that they carry with them you know what i mean they wouldn't just be angry all the day you know what i'm saying like They'll, be, they'll have more smiles on their face, even through, you know, trials and tribulations. You know, obviously it takes you down and it brings your spirit down, but it won't take you out of your joy that God has got you covered. And the people that do have this, you know, the real faith it's because of faith. That's why they still have joy and still believe. And we'll get to that on another passage. So let me get into this one. Malachi 4. One through five. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all that, and all the proud, yeah, and all that are, do wickedly shall be stumbled. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And yeah, 
shall he go forth and grow up as calves and of the stall. And yea, shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the sole of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. Remember, yea, the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded unto him and Herob for all Israel with the statutes and judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children's to their fathers. Least I come and smite the earth with a curse. God bless the reading of his word. So as I was saying, in the day that Jesus is coming, He's going to have us set up, you know what I mean? Preaching his word, the, the Elijah spirit will be on the earth, which it is right now. People are trying to tell people right now that, you know what I mean? There's a lot of wickedness in this world and you see a lot of people dying every day. You know, just a rapper the other day, you know, a high, high profile rapper just, just got taken out of here. And, you know, a lot of people are talking about he's been sacrificed. And yes, more or less in the Masonic, decrees and stuff like when you see all like the gestures and if people talking about like that that thing that transpired you can tell that it was more or less a sacrifice if you got ears and you got eyes that can discern things you know what i mean his own camp took him out and stuff like that oh it was an accident no it wasn't an accident it was a sacrifice you know what i'm saying there ain't no such things as an accident you know what i mean bull got shot in his head or, or whatever you know so and then there, there was just, just there's just other things that's just going on in the world today. Like, you know what I mean? Your, your so-called president out here lying about, you know, there ain't no inflation like that. And then he's rebuttaling, saying like, oh, we need to do this to try to justify the inflation or try to bring down the inflation. So they'll set up a, a price for some food, certain foods on the shelf. You know what I mean? And, and it's in all disarray because what you saying there's a sale for like a week and then next week it's going to double and triple like people don't even get that you know what i mean they're not even looking at, at at what's in front of them you know what i mean you know a lot of the 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 magic that goes on in front of your face is like a sleight of hand type of deal you know what i'm saying like they know that the gas is crazy ridiculous right now you have like 20 days 25 days left before the shortage happens with the, the the gasoline like there's diesel so just imagine the diesel operates trains trucks planes and, and and a lot of other things so you already know off of that alone when there's going to be people getting fired or or can't make it to their job because you know they're going to have to start having like days that you can't get gas and such yes that's definitely going to be coming down a pike because and the, and, the, and the price is going to be so so ridiculous that people are just going to be like, yo, it makes no sense to work at a nine to five job when it's going to cost more to get to your job than it will for you to have your check. Like these things, it's like the collapse. You know what I mean? They're trying to push in this Green New Deal with the central bank. Like you need to know that the central bank is actually doing a strategic crash in the system. So you will be. It's, it was like a federal note, which is fake money anyway, not backed by gold. Now they want to back this up in the uh, in the cyberspace, like with the crypto. And they want to have the federal cryptocurrency. And that's why they're trying to shut down all of these things, shutting down the pipelines and stuff like that. You got to read behind the veil. You still got to, and when you listen into these news outlets and stuff like that, like you got to, you got to listen to it. But you got to listen to it and investigate what you're listening to because it's half truth. And they're not telling you the whole the whole story or the back the background of the whole thing. And just like the people in church, you know, what I mean, a lot of these people in church today, man, they faking the funk, bro. It, a lot of these people aren't really righteous people. And you could tell, you know, what I mean, that they're, they're saying, oh, yeah, God going to do this and that. And then it's just like they're waiting for a prosperity. Right. But they didn't go. You could tell that these people didn't go. They're not not faith in works. They're just believing in faith without the works. Like a lot of people want to have faith, but 
they don't have enough faith to obtain what they've been working on. Like, and a lot of these people like, like, oh, well, let's just fake the funk until it happens. Like, and you can tell that they're losing everything that they talk about that they was doing. Like, they believe like, oh, yeah, like what you get is what I'm going to get. Like, no, that's not how the word go. You know what I mean? If you don't put in that the actual work with God, like you have to go through these trials and tribulations. And if these people don't go through trials and tribulations, just like as in the word says, they not really with God, they there for themselves and they want their own personal gains. And a lot of these people out here faking in church, like, oh yeah, God's with them. And God really left them a long time ago. They, these people got reprobated minds and you could tell, you know what I mean? Because like, their church is in disarray. And if you look at it and start investigating the, the churches that some of y'all go to, you'll see that it's, it's a lot of foolery. And guess what? God ain't a, a, ain't a man of confusion. He ain't a God of confusion. And he ain't a God that blesses no mess. So if you see mess in your side of your church, you already know that there's no blessings over there. I'm sorry to tell you this, but those people aren't blessed. You know what I mean? They're not anointed. Like God took their anointing. That's why they're coming down. That's why they're in confusion right now, because... God already put them in a reprobated state because they were supposed to be preaching the word and then they was letting a lot of things go. And then a lot of these people, they just want fame and money. You know what I mean? You could tell, you know what I mean? Oh God. And then they, they talking over the, over the, uh, the, over the, um, uh, you know, over the mic and saying like, Oh God, been doing this, man. I don't been going through all this, that, and the third. You can tell that they don't have no faith in them because even if they did have the faith in them, they wouldn't be preaching no, oh, I don't know, man, I'm losing all, I'm getting discouraged, and da, 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 da. You're supposed to be the man of God or the woman of God. So, yeah, you can you can have down moments, but you telling the congregation and these people like, yo, it's God, you know what I mean? I'm losing, I'm losing. You're losing it because you already lost it. They already lost it, you know what I mean? They didn't go through, they didn't go through the process, you know what I'm saying? Like, they had their shots to go through their process. They didn't want to go through the process because the process of getting to the real riches in Christ and having them on this earth now, the process is very hard because you got to understand that these so-called people of Christ go up against you. So does the government go up against you and the people of the world, your so-called friends or whoever, your family that aren't with Christ aren't in church or whatever, they all go up against you. Because if you preach in righteousness, it's going to be hard for you to get your word out like that. They don't, they definitely, definitely don't want you to get your word out like that because your word is true. Your word actually opens up the hearts. It actually makes people think, you know what I mean? When you're a real person and you really want to follow Christ, follow Christ. I'm telling you, get a relationship with Christ. But when you are a real person and, and you know you ain't playing no games. You do this just because you want God's word to be true and come out of your, your mouth true. And you want to try to do the truth and live by faith and not by sight. Because if you walk by faith and not by sight, you're going to go through some hard trials and tribulations, man. Because that's just a test that God gives his children, his true ones. They got to go through these tests, man. And if you ain't going through these tests and you saying if you already rich or whatever and you ain't go through none of these tests to get your riches, you're going to lose it just like that because you ain't earn it. You know what I mean? It was given to you just like a lot of people got to understand like a rich man and his kids. Like if a rich man earned his worth, right, he earned his worth throughout his life. You know what I mean? He worked to establish his his uh, his stuff and everything like that, you know, his company and built it up and everything. And then all of a sudden that you had, uh, you know, he died or whatever. He passed the wealth over to his kids. Do you know not most of these people, like if they kids ain't never been in the, in the business with them or whatever, established them themselves in the company like he did, you know what I mean? To, 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 to start the company, the kids is going to definitely destroy the company. And that's what God don't want his kids to do. He wants you to go through all these trials and tribulations to get, once you get your wealth, once you get to your establishment, once you get to your process of the next level, he wants you to sustain that that level. He don't want you to lose it and wither it away. That's why you need to leave certain people and take certain people out your camp because not that they are necessarily all bad, it's that, that they can stagnate the process of your elevation because they didn't go through the same process that you went through. You know what I mean? You went through the fire and came out gold. And they didn't even go through the fire like you. 
So you shouldn't have people in your camp that didn't go through these trials and tribulations like you did. And some of these people that's in your so-called camp are the ones that's causing these trials and tribulations to happen in your life. So I'm going to leave that one right there. But yes, God is judging the wicked, not the just, not the ones that's speaking his word out, not the ones that he's trying to help others to be saved. He did not come here to kill and destroy. He came to destroy the wicked ones. So I'm going to let that one rest right there. Subscribe to Church's Intake and let's grow. You know what I mean? Like it, it takes longer for a real, for a real truth person to grow out here because the devil don't really want his word out. And there's a lot of people that's trying to stop and stagnate you from getting that word out. But it's only going to pop one day. I already know that. Church's Intake is going to explode out here because I speak the truth and nothing but the truth. And I only want the truth to be known. God bless y'all. Thank <laughs> you.